My name is Mark, and this is another installment of our Safari TV Diary. Cold grey mornings showed us some wildebeest and impala on the open area near camp. A resident group of red-billed woodhoopers cackling away in the marula tree above them. Later on in the day we managed to find a family of warthog rummaging through the grasses. The three little piglets spending some time with their father. And close by and with very shortcut grasses, a whole party of birds fed on insects in the grass. A crowned lapwing bringing my attention to something by displaying, raising its wings, and on closer inspection finding a puff adder amongst all the cut grasses. While filming some caterpillar pod flowers, we found a group of kudu. Mostly females with some youngsters. They browsed quite peacefully amongst the thicker vegetation. Moving on from the kudu, we were very, very lucky to find Karula, our famous leopard marking her territory moving through the grasses until she spotted an impala. Moving in for a stalk a little bit closer, she tried to remain concealed but unfortunately the impala ram saw her and with her chances of a kill diminishing minute by minute she decided to move off and give up on the hunt. As she headed down the road towards Biffleshook Dam and the Juma vehicles followed her, we ourselves decided to make a trip to Biffleshook Dam via another route, only to find two rhino standing in the road, blocking our path. With the sun setting behind grey skies and light fading fast, we stayed with them till the end of drive, hoping that Karula would make an appearance. The rhino grazed and moved slowly towards the dam, And as darkness fell and lights were switched on, we decided to make our way back to camp. Please tune in tomorrow for another edition of Safari TV Diary.